here is a look at Afro-Latino travels with Kim Huss. For 500 years, people of African descent have been in Latin America, and they've left an incredible mark on this region. From cuisine, to art, to music, to transportation, to infrastructure, the way people get around and move has all been influenced by people of African descent. So we're gonna take you on a journey via video so you can learn more about these incredible people, their spirit, their soul, their heart and energy and maybe learn something along the way, and I hope you do. Yeah. Okay. Do you like that? I love that. All right, Kim Haas is the show. Oh, I know, Kim's show. <laughs> Kim Haas is the show's host, creator, and executive producer, and she joins us live this morning. Kim, hello and welcome. Good morning, buenos dias. Buenos okay. dias. Yeah. We've already had a New Jersey love fest. There That's right. Did you That's see the place to be? That's I love right. this. Yeah, yeah. I'm also very envious of what you get to do here right. with this Thank series. Love it's it. educational and yes. entertaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, talk to us first about how the travel has kind of shaped your own personal view yeah. of the world in general. Because I know you said in that clip you hope that people yeah. learn something. Yeah. Well, I think if we're open to traveling and just getting to know other people, you know, we see that we're all the same, right. just wrapped a little differently maybe, right? Sure. Right. But in the inside, everybody wants the same thing. I you want so. your kids to be healthy, you want your family to be well. I mean, we want, and I think travel allows you to see the goodness in others. That's right. Yeah. Um, what are some of the earliest travel memories that you have? Well, the first one was my grandmother, mi abuela. She took me to Acapulco, Mexico <gasps> when I was six or seven. Oh boy. And I tell the story because from that moment, I remember being in the hotel lobby and a complete stranger asked me, do you want to learn how to count your numbers in Spanish? Uno a veinte, one to 20. And from that moment, I was hooked. What? Completely hooked. <laughs> from a stranger in a yes. lobby. That was, that yes. was where the seed to do yeah. this show exactly. was planted. Yes. When I was like six or seven. So you never know how these experiences right. can impact your life and really influence. Can we talk a little bit about your ethnicity yeah. and your, because we've talked a lot about the meaning of Afro-Latino and it is be it's become a little bit more mainstream yes. because because hello, we're in, tw we're in 2024. <laughs> yes. What is your background? So I'm African-American, mm -hmm. and I like to say, as far as I know, <laughs> right? as far as I know, I, I am not Afro-Latina, mm -hmm. but I always feel this connection sure. you know, to the people, the culture. So as far as I know, as far as you I'm African-American, yes. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And you know how to count from one to 20, and probably more than that I now. do, just a little bit more, <laughs> yes. Un poquito más. Un poquito más. So where did the idea for this show come from? Was it that trip to Acapulco where a complete stranger wanted to teach you something, or, or was, it, was that just the catalyst for something, in conjunction with something yeah, else? It, it was really the catalyst, because it sparked from that moment. I wanted more language, more travel. I wanted to be out in the world, and I wanted to really study Spanish. Yeah. And then it became Portuguese and Italian. Oh my gosh. And so it was just the catalyst, as you said, for learning and traveling. And then, as I traveled throughout Latin America, including Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. I was like, I saw these people who looked like me. Sure. But then I looked at television and I saw no one who looked like me. So none of these great, amazing people were on television. Right. And mm. so we weren't learning from, we talk about learning, right. we weren't learning from the Afro-Latinos, the dancers, the musicians. Right. We weren't seeing them, I should say, as much as you know, I really thought they deserved. The writers, I love the sure. arts, so that's yeah. what attracted me. And this just reminds me of when In the Heights came out, Lynn manuels mm -hmm. yep. movie, and they, that movie took so much flack for not putting more Afro-Latinos into the film. Regardless of what side of the fence you were on, I think what you're doing is fantastic because I'm Puerto Rican, I can be a lot of things. My grandmother was Afro-Latina, yeah. so people would often look at this black woman holding this me or my sister and be like, who is that? Right. It's the diaspora. Exactly. Right. So thank you for highlighting all of this fantastic stuff. Now, did you go to a specific place in Latin America and you were completely shocked? Or you were like, or you went in with one idea and you were like, oh, that's interesting. Well, every time I go, I'm still <laughs> learning, you know? And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. I mean, I, I really consider myself, you know, a student. Yeah. And I'm learning, and because Always, I didn't yeah. grow up in, you know, these countries, I'm just hungry for information and meeting people. So every time I go somewhere, I'm like, oh, I didn't know that, or this is fascinating. Mm -hmm. And I think I just get so much inspired by Afro-Latinos and their strength mm -hmm. and their courage, determination, ingenuity, mm -hmm. um, perseverance. 
I, I just am enamored. And so if I can share that um, with others, my world is just, I'm, you know, super fantastic, happy. <laughs> I'm a happy camper, happy traveler. I love it. So, yeah. I love, it. I love this so much. I'd love that job. Too, I was just going to say, I, how do I sign up? What are some, I, I'm sure it's hard to pick, yeah. but what are some of the most memorable places that you've visited or some ones that stand out? Yeah, maybe this is recency bias, but of course. Um, well, I was in Salvador not too long ago, Brazil. So. And so Salvador is the capital of, of Afro-Brazilian culture and mm -hmm. it is amazing. Yeah. So, but Puerto Rico and Luisa always has a particular, you know, place in my heart. Um, so that's another center of Afro-Puerto Rican culture. I was in Cuba. Mm -hmm. last year in Santiago de Cuba yeah. and that's just amazing so there are so many places that people can go and visit and immerse themselves in the culture and the people want to share exactly sure. you know yeah. I was just gonna say I don't travel as much as I would like to but when I do I find you always have to leave time for something like that to yes. happen I don't no one's ever offered to teach me the language but I find that when I try to speak Spanish mm -hmm. in a Spanish-speaking mm -hmm. place, they love it and they encourage yeah. it. And they want to tell you where to go and what yes. to do right. and who to look out for. Yes. And I think that's pretty much the whole reason. That that's what traveling is all about. Yes. Yeah. It's about making those connections, right. meeting people, learning about their traditions, their families, and then realizing we all are connected and sure. we all are Really, I mean, it sounds, you know, I don't want to sound hokey, but we all are really one with sure. the same wants and needs. And traveling helps reduce all that so that we're just, you know, we see ourselves as equals. That's right. And it's, I think, a marvelous opportunity. Yeah, and yeah. thank you for sharing that with oh, us. Where's What's next? Where, where are we going next? I don't, we're looking at a couple places. So maybe Mexico, Brazil, because there's a whole Afro-Mexican community. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot out there. So we'll... You gotta go back to Acapulco. Yes, if of course. If you need two PAs yeah. for your show, <laughs> we're your, available. Your Thank you. We'll you. bring you your, your cafe. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So Gracias. Much. Gracias a ti. Uh, and don't forget, you can watch this show and learn more about Kim's travels online at travelswithkimhaas.com.